What's up guys, Neon Fox here, and I'm I'm not doing that now. I uh I sometimes feel like my energy's not high enough for YouTube. Think about doing stuff like that and then I I ugh. No. Okay, so Trovo and Streamlabs have finally decided to team up and get down to business, making it easier than ever to go live on Trovo and use a wide array of Streamlabs themes and widgets to make your stream unique and stand out. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to quickly set up and go live to Trovo with Streamlabs, and I'm also going to talk about some pros and cons about using Streamlabs over, say, OBS Studio. And there's some stuff you really should know before you choose one over the other. But first off, feel free to skip the next 30 seconds because I'm going to plug myself and tell you why you should subscribe. Still here? Let me know in the comments. So my name is Phil, aka Neon, and I have been a streamer for a few years now and creating videos about streaming on YouTube for just over a year. I also have worked in the film and TV industry for the past 10 years and have a degree in film production, which hasn't really done anything for me, but it was a fun three years of university. If you find me or the information in this video interesting or valuable, please let me know by hitting the like button and the subscribe button. No take backs available. You cannot change your mind later. Once you hit that subscribe button, you literally cannot unsubscribe for life. At least I think that's how it works. So Streamlabs and Trovo. Let's talk about how easy it is to go live to Trovo using Streamlabs. First off, the basics. Make sure you have a Trovo account and make sure you have a Streamlabs account, which you can get from their respective websites. Also make sure you download the Streamlabs OBS application and log in there. It's there you can connect your Trovo account. Once you've done all that, you can hit the plus button to add your scenes and sources, add a game display, add a camera, microphones, etc. I won't go too deep into this as that's for another video. You can also get free overlays from Streamlabs with all this put together for you. You can find these by going to the Streamlabs website and searching the themes with the free keyword, aka just search free in the search bar. But honestly, it's not hard to put together one of these overlays yourself. Once you're happy with all that, it really is as easy as hitting go live and you'll be broadcasting straight to your Trovo page. Now, if you want to go live via your phone, which is becoming increasingly common, especially on Trovo, you can do that by downloading the Streamlabs app on your phone, logging in, and it will walk you through it. It will set you up with a basic stream overlay with a camera if you choose, and this will work with the majority of streams. You can, however, customize the layout further using editor mode, which will allow you to add widgets and overlay themes, letting you have a much more unique mobile stream. Then once you are happy, hit the go live button. Then it will ask you where you want to stream, Choose Trovo, of course. Then enter your title and description and boom, you're live to Trovo. So why stream with Streamlabs OBS? Well, look, I'm not going to lie to you here. OBS Studio, Streamlabs competitor is great. You can do so much with it. I see people constantly doing unique and creative things I've never seen before. And it does it all using a surprisingly low amount of CPU. I'm actually a really big advocate for using OBS Studio. Even I have recently switched from using it to Streamlabs because of some key features that not only does Streamlabs do better than OBS, but OBS can't do at all. And the first one is a big one, especially for new streamers. Streamlabs OBS is simple. It's clean, it's easy to understand. You also have a wide array of themes to choose from with Streamlabs that will let you streamline the process even more, allowing you to just concentrate on what you are there for, the streaming. And real quick, little question of the day here for you to put in the comments. Let me know what you use more than anything. OBS Studio, Streamlabs OBS, or maybe you've not streamed yet and you're thinking about it. Down in the comments. Also like the video. The next pro to Streamlabs are widgets. Now you can get these or something similar in OBS Studios, but it's not easy. You have to go and download external plugins. With Streamlabs, you can add these to your streams with a touch of a button. And widgets can be anything from adding Trovo chat to your stream overlay or things like a tip jar or progress and goals bars. You can also get and customize all your alerts and sound effects through Streamlabs and they make it very easy. And then you're in this ecosystem where you're using the Streamlabs application, the Streamlabs widgets, the alerts, all in one place. They also have a great chatbot, a tips page so people can support you through Streamlabs, and a merch store where you can make and sell your merch through them easily. It really is just a one-stop shop for all your streaming needs. And that's not the end of it either, because Streamlabs also saves all your settings between devices, which is a dream. I could have everything set up on my home PC, but I want to stream using my laptop when I'm visiting family, or I'm visiting a friend who will let me use their PC. Well, that's fine. All I need to do is log in on any computer and all my settings will be there ready to go. And honestly, I just like it for the peace of mind because if I ever lose access to, or God forbid my PC is damaged in some way and I cannot stream on it, I can just run into the other room and log in on my girlfriend's PC and run it, no issues at all. Except that she'll be a little mad. And the big one, the reason I switched over to Streamlabs OBS to stream to Trovo 
multi-streaming. You do have to pay a subscription service to multi-stream on Streamlabs, but in my opinion, it's worth it. You can multi-stream with a plugin using OBS Studio, but it will just stream to two or three places at once. Meaning if I want to stream, say to Trovo, YouTube and Twitch, then it's going to really push my computer to the limits because it's sending out three different signals. With Streamlabs multi-stream, rather than my PC sending out three separate streams, it will just send out the one stream. Then off-site, Streamlabs service will split it on their end to go to all the different platforms. So my computer does not have to deal with any of it. I also get all my chat in one feed and it's super easy to use. I highly recommend if you are thinking about multi-streaming and if you're streaming on Trovo, I highly recommend multi-streaming anyway. And yes, there are other places you can multi-stream using Restream. Uh, and like I said just before, you can get a plugin for OBS Studio to stream from there. But it's important to note that with Restream.io, there's a free version, but you have to advertise them in your About You, About Me, About You section. And you're limited to how many streams you can have going at once. They have a paid version, which unlocks all that stuff for you. One second, guys. The intro where I was high energy just really took it out of me. I need my coffee. And with the plugin on OBS Studios, it's important to remember that every streaming site has different settings. And Streamlabs will just take all those settings and take them off your hands completely and sort it all out for you. Now, I won't lie, I've had some issues with Streamlabs OBS and it wouldn't be fair for me not to mention it in this video when I'm talking about how good they are. Um, Streamlabs OBS uses a hell of a lot more CPU than OBS Studio does. We're talking like the difference between 1% with OBS Studio and 12% with Streamlabs OBS. So if when streaming your computer struggles a lot, having the stream software open and a game playing, then Streamlabs OBS might not be the option for you. But it is free to download and free to use. I actually have both. I have OBS Studio and I have Streamlabs OBS downloaded onto my computer. Uh, I'll sometimes use one to record the other in tutorials and I could use either to go live at any point depending on what kind of thing I needed to do. Anyway guys, I hope this video has been useful and thank you for watching.